Hey guys, it's me Kate again. So this video will be my January wrap up. Sorry for this. Uh, my tripod is somewhere and where I can't pull it out easily. So we have to do with what we have. So in January, I read 31 books. So let's begin. So the first book that I read at the very beginning of the month while I was on a winter break was Catwoman Soul Sailor by Sarah J. Maas. This is third book in DC Icon series in which I are following um, reimagined uh, backstories of uh, DC characters in this case. Catwoman and the other reason by why uh, popular YA authors this is that this was a real read for me and I actually gave it five to five stars. I loved it. Then uh, I had another reread and that was Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas. This first book in Throne of Glass series in which are following an assassin called Selena Sardotian who prior to the events of this first book was captured but up until now when the captain of the king's guard comes and takes her away to the crown prince who offers her to be king's assassin and uh, to be his champion to become a king's the king's assassin in exchange for her freedom i loved it and i can't believe it was all it was five years since i first read this then I listened to the audiobook of Soul of the Sword by Joel Kagawa, which is the second book in the Shadow of the Fox series, in which are following um, Kitsune Shifter Yumeko, who has been tasked with getting this scroll to this temple. And uh, 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 and this samurai uh, who is tasked with um, getting her there and it's really fun because uh, I cannot tell you what happens because it's spoiler for the first book and I really love this school book gave it five out of five stars and I also listened to the night of the dragon which is third book in shadow of the fox series uh, then I re uh, read three books for my seminars at college, so I won't be mentioning, uh, so, so there's only three of them, but I'm counting them towards my reading goal because I read them. Then I listened to listen uh, to audiobook of Legend Born by Tracy Dion, which was a reread for me. Uh, I still get it four out of five stars. So in this book we're following Bree whose mom died and uh, on the day her mom died she told her mom that she applied for this uh, program at this uh, college for high schoolers and uh, basically uh, was present they said to each other were in anger and now she has been she came to the uh, this summer program with her best friend and she witnesses a magical attack which leads her to this whole society based on a legend of king arthur arthur water i'm sorry and then i listened to its sequel uh, Bloodmark by Chelsea Dion, which I, gave, which I loved and gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Definitely, it has more stuff going for it than the first book, at least in my opinion. And then I listened to uh, OL Alphas by a series by Cherry Cherry Masters, which I gave all of the 5 books 5 to 5 stars. If uh, they're just really fun let's just say that the book five gave to um, i was listening to on um, the walk to something i had to do for college and 
here you won't want to see me because I was embarrassed uh, luckily I listened to it on three times speed which most people cannot uh, comprehend in English uh, that are like in my friend group so nobody knows what they were listening to so then I reread uh, Lifelike by Jay Crystal gave 5 to 5 stars it's about a girl who uh, it's sci-fi and it's about a girl who is finding uh, is in this mecha battles and one day while scavenging a junkyard for pa uh, spare, part spare parts for her mecha she uh, uh, finds uh, a lifelike which is essentially um, uh, endangered by they were being failure so then I reread Alanches by Brand Anderson so uh, in this book we are following um, Serene who uh, uh, who is coming to this kingdom so she would marry their crown prince and that way uh, uh, making an alliance between their two kingdoms but when she comes there uh, they tell her her husband is dead but the thing is uh, uh, the, uh, the capital of this other kingdom is near this ancient city of Alanchis in which uh, it was said that people uh, who had powers and lived in Alanchis called Alanchians were got sick and all died and every everybody in this now capital city who gets uh, the same thing is thrown into Alanchis and uh, the titular crown prince was one of those people so it's really complicated things going on here and I gave it five to five stars then I reread Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Maas. In this one, this is second book in Crown of Glass series. I gave it five to five stars. Uh, then I listened to, I read actually a uh, uh, few books that were really good but not great. So I gave all of them four out of five stars. And then those were the very secret society of irregular wishes by Sangu Mandana. Uh, the woman they could not silence by Katie Moore, I think. Every summer after by Carly Fortunes. Sleeping giants, waking gods, and only humans by Sam Sullivan Noel. And then um, the one that I listened to, but was okay, it was. Uh, the Chair Robbers by Sarah I. Walker. It was okay. It's about this woman. Basically, it's similar to The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So, we start in present day when someone wants to write her biography, but she doesn't want to. Want for her biography to be written because he, she's, she has this really huge secret. And then we flash back in time. Basically, most of the book is about the secret she's been hiding. It. So it was okay. I didn't even. Uh, I just skipped through the audiobook at one point because it was okay, really boring, but okay, and I didn't want to spend time much time on it. And then I actually reread. The entirety of Spellslinger series. This is fourth book, uh, Soulbinder, all by Sebastian de Castell. In, uh, in this series, we're following Kellen, who is just about to take his major shots, but his magic starts failing, so he decides to cheat. Uh, I gave all of these books five out of five stars, even upon the reality, because they're really fun. This is the first book, uh, first. From the first time when I tapped it, it could be two years ago already. 
And then the last book that I actually managed to finish up until now, uh, there there is a possibility I finish one more book uh, until the end of 31st of January, but uh, I won't be mentioning it here because at the moment I'm not entirely, entirely sure uh, will I manage it. So uh, the last book that will be in this video is Am I in the Night Brothers by B.B. Austin. So this was also a weird for me. Even spoiler alert for my next book haul, I even got the sequel. Uh, now, so in this one we are following Amari who whose brother has been missing for six months and everybody has kind of given up on finding him. Except for Amari who believes he's alive and wants uh, to find out what happened to him. And one day while going through his closet, she finds this briefcase which uh, holds invitation for her to join the Bureau of, of Supernatural Affairs. Uh, and it's really fun and I gave it 5 to 5 stars. So yeah, uh, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please like, share and subscribe. Down below on my social media, my email and some other stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.